What's up today, my fellow man soldiers? So what I'm gonna be doing right now is going over this major market crash that's continuing to go on in Madden 25 right now in Ultimate Team. And the reason why is because there's a lot of new cards coming out. There's glitches that are coming out and so forth. Now here's the thing. I'm gonna show you guys cards, which, which type of cards you guys should buy and which ones you should stay away from because the market is kind of weird right now. There's certain cards of overalls that shouldn't be going for that much, but there's reasons why for it. So I'm gonna get into all that right now to hopefully help you guys make a better decision when it comes to picking out your cards. And then there's some of you guys that probably gonna make a decision, but like, you know what? I'm not even gonna buy anything right now. I'm gonna go ahead and wait. And that's fine too, because I'm waiting for certain things right now and I'll let you guys know why. So please drop a like on the video. Let's go ahead and get right into it. All right. so. I'm gonna come over here and come to my team. I always come to my team and let you guys know what I'm working on to, to show you guys I apply these same methods. If you guys see, all my players are Nats. None of them are actually auctionable cards. Not that I have anything against it. It's just, there's, there's no reason to buy cards if I don't need them. However, I could use the right guard. I could use the right tackle. My tight end I got for free, so I'm very happy with that. And then I'm also gonna get other upgrades because I got uh, legend tokens and I also got the AKA tokens, which I'm gonna be able to get a free player. I'm just waiting to see what players they release. Like if they release a quarterback that I really want, then hey, I'm gonna be able to get it for free. So that's how you make your decisions when it comes to picking cards for your squad, as well as even when the market drops, because sometimes there's cards that are going for very cheap and you just don't need to buy them. Even if the market drop, you don't need to buy them if you don't need them. Okay, so now that we're done talking about that, let's come over here and uh, I'm gonna break this down. So, oh wait, where's it? Uh, auction tab. Because there's, there's multiple different cards in the game right now that are like insanely cheap. All right, so what, what, what I'm gonna go with is I'm gonna start off with the limited. Wow. Look at this, Chase Young is going for 375. He literally quick sells for 350. This is a good deal, I don't need it, so there's no reason for me to pick it up. But that's a good, good deal with there. But the thing is, if you really, really need a right in, go ahead and get it. But there are so many right ins that people are getting for free that there's no reason for you to invite it. But th if this was a card that you actually really need it, then that would definitely be a great deal. But I don't see anyone really picking up that card. So I want to go ahead and leave that alone. And I want to start off with some of these 88s, 80s, um, 88s and higher. Um, some 87s will be diff different, but 88s right now, 87 and 88s are the way to go. But when it comes to limited, I would, I would go more so for the 88s because I would see, it, it, to me, it would make more sense. Like this left end is good. The QB is good. Um, Mike Vick, another one's good. Jalen Waddle, this 89 overall is decent. 445K, not bad for a limited edition because they'll always quick sell for 350K. So these cards, even this one, right? look at this, is a 90 overall. Whoa, this is actually a pretty good card. 88 speed though, that's the only thing. It's a decent card, um, but 88 speed, you could, you, could get, you could get a better card for, for uh, more speed. I would hold off on that. If it had like 90 speed, then I'll be like, yeah, definitely. I mean, that's a good price either way, but I definitely would have picked it up if it was for that. All right, so now that we're done with the limiteds, I'm gonna go ahead and check out these 90 overalls so you guys can see. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip this uh, half pack. But look at, you got Vince Will Fork, uh, Legend. The only thing I don't like about him is he's a little slow, 412K. A lot of these cards are going for like 431k. Look at the look at the price is not really that bad. If you got a, if you got about a million coins or a few million whatever, and you really want one of these cards, you could pick them up. But in the end, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I wouldn't even touch none of these, none of these most feared cards right now. And the reason why is because there's a program going on. From what I know, there's gonna be three different drops. And so there's gonna be a lot of currency dropping in the game. As you as you already tell, the most feared currency. Yeah, I got 11,000. And I'm not even done grinding out the field pass. I got a lot more to do on the field pass. So I'm going to be getting tons of other rewards as well as most fear currency. You get 70,000, 17,000 or 18,000 of the most fear currency. You'll be able to get a B and D 90 overall fancy pack containing any of the most fear players. So that's one thing that, I, that, that, that I'm um, showing you guys right there is just wait and be patient. Even if you're going to get more than one card, wait until you have a most cur the most cur uh, currency you guys. Here's the thing, right? I would wait for the 90 overalls. There's other cards I'm going to tell you to pick up, but for the 90 overalls, I would wait for now because during that time, when you do have enough currency, that means the market's going to be a lot lower. 
it's it, and a lot more people are going to have enough currency to get themselves cards so things are going to be a lot better so even if you want more than one card you can pick one of your free cards and then go ahead and purchase some other ones for uh, a good discount now let's go to the 88 overalls because this is the things that i would tell people to be looking into because these are great deals 150k is not bad for a lot of these cards are not bad these are definitely good cards to pick up and add to your squad once again i wouldn't go crazy and pick up like 5 10 or whatever but if you could pick up like uh three of these cards that would be good um that would actually be decent if you need these positions if you don't need none of these positions then of course you want to hold on to your coins but if any of these positions you need i would definitely pick up a few of these 88 overalls because these are very very cheap and to me right now the 87s and the 88s are the way to go to build your team you don't have to have a 90 overall keep in mind right now in order to be competitive the 87 and 88s are cool and not just that don't mistake in not picking up the 86s because a lot of the 86s are good to pick up de depending on the positions that you're going to be using for the 80 um 86s which i'll get into right now but these are actually pretty decent prices that i would pick up when it comes to investing in your team is picking up some of these 88s now let's go check out the 86s um and the 87s all right here we go here the only thing i will tell you when it comes to 86s and 87s do not pick up like this uh uh Nag nagata card the defensive tackle because he actually has a higher champion if you're going to pick up an 86 make sure you pick the champion version of the 86 for instance like earl thomas earl thomas is an actual champion card so if you need a good free safety then earl thomas will be a decent free safety and he's only going for 69k coins but if you want to go through the filters to see if you can get them for cheaper this is what i would do go to free safety and see if you can find them for cheaper there's another free safety you can find for cheaper. You could uh, get Paul Krause or you could get Earl Thomas, but these are a little bit cheaper. Not too cheap, but that, that's what it is. Now let's go back to all of them. Same thing with this DeMarcus Ware. You don't want to pick up this DeMarcus Ware for 6 7K because he does have a champion card. Um, his champion card is the 89. So once again, if you're going to pick up an 86, I would rather you pick up the champion version because that's more attractive when it comes to... when you, Like if, if you do pick it up and... and if you want to resell it, a lot more people will be looking for the champion version of the card and not the pieces. Sometimes they will need the pieces if they want to complete the set. But honestly, though, some people would rather just buy them outright. All right, so now let's check out some of these 87s. Yeah, some of these 86s are cool. Like, say, for instance, um, you this would be the best time to upgrade your lineman if you have an upgrade your lineman. Like, look at this. A right tackle for 68k 81k and not bad i would just pick up this 81 um, 80, um 86 k i'm sorry and just add it to my team which most likely i'm probably going to end up doing that because i do need a red uh this one right here is ridiculous this one right here is hideous don't ever pick up a right guard for that much that an 86 overall for that much i would rather pick I would, who's dumb enough to put up for that much when you could go ahead and get this 89 overall for that much like these people are silly However, however, let's let's go to the 84s and 85s because like say for instance you need a right guard and you're like man I'm not trying to pay that much for a right guard. Come over here to the 85. See if you can pick up an 85 because the 85 for, for when it comes to linemen, 85 and up will be definitely decent to upgrade your old lineman. Oh, did I not oh I didn't even put right guard. I'm tripping. Okay, here we go. Here we go here. I thought I had to put right right guard. Okay, here we go. Look at that, Larry Little. 74k not bad and you can even get them for cheaper if you just wait and then go ahead and just uh continue to go through the the filters and make sure to see if he comes back in 74k is not bad but once again you could get them for cheaper for an eight for for 85 overall um i definitely wouldn't pay 74k but once again they he does go up for cheaper and i would wait for that stuff like that to upgrade your old lineman right so that's what i'm talking about when it comes to your old lineman um 85 and 86s are the way to go and also some of your like defensive tackles it's good to pick up the 85, 86s and stuff like that, especially the 86s, to upgrade your team. Now, when it comes to 87s, you want to look for more for like receivers, safeties, and stuff like that, because it just makes more sense to add that to your squad. Um, here's a halfback right here. These 86s are all right, but I like, see like a center right here. This is not bad. You could probably get them for a lot cheaper if you guys go through it and uh, make sure you guys picking the right cards. The right outside linebacker, I'm not tripping on that because you usually get a lot of them for free. But these these right here are actually not bad. These are 150k. See, I'm not gonna pay 100 or 135, but that's close to 150. 
I'm not going to play that much for an 87 because once again, you go to the 88s, they're going to be that much for the 88 overalls. You'd be better off just getting an 88 overall. Um, and then if you do get an 87s, once again, I would find 87s. If you pick up an 87, find an 87 is going for about 110k and lower. If you can't find it for 110k and lower, then just go off with the 88s. The 88s are the best cards right now to pick up in some of the 86s. But if these 87s are close to the 88s, then don't even pick them up because they're worthless. Like that's really my honest opinion. Now let's go for the 84s. And then I'm gonna go to a certain program because I know these cards are going for more than what they should be. And that is the most fear cards. They're going for 35K. These are outrageous. But the reason why they're going for so much is because people are trying to complete the sets in order for them to get tokens and other free players and stuff like that he is offering but the only good thing about that is you are getting your cards back however consider the 10 percent tax when you sell your cards back so that will be taken away but if you really want those cards then it's not bad to pick up some of these cards to add to just for the sets not to have on your team but just to complete the most certain most the completion sets for your squad that would be the only thing for you guys to do so that's why i wanted to touch upon that last but anyway, let me see if I have my one coin store offer before I end this. Oh, it's a platinum card. Ah, that's what I just open up later. It's not, ain't like a 79 plus or anything. It's just a regular platinum card. But anyways, there it is there. Let me know what you guys decide to do and which card you want to invest in. Until next time, I'm out.